really proud of uh, the way guys played today. And uh, I thought it, we had a really good week of, of practice, preparation, and had some guys that had to step up. It was uh, certainly good to get some energy and production from, from Corey. I thought our, our defense, and you, you guys saw it, I mean, they were tremendous. And uh, they just keep playing. And, and I thought, you know, Dave, defense staff, did a really nice job and getting Sitchy ready. And I thought he he played well inside. Um, and we got forced some turnovers again and had pressure on the quarterback. And, and you know, when they did get in the red zone, guys, you know, we stiffened up. And I thought they played really well and fun to watch. And uh, thought our thought our special teams, we were worried again this week. We thought it was going to be a heck of a challenge for our coverage units. and. And I thought did a nice job. You know, the only one, uh, you know, we had the bad field position after Corey's first touchdown when he forgot what it meant to score a touchdown. Um, but I thought the coverage units were great. I thought Drew punted well, and uh, it was good. And then I think offensively, you know, found a way to, to move. We're, you know, I think okay on third down and uh, certainly a big fourth down with Joel and Alex and, and uh, needed everything. And it, it wasn't perfect, but appreciate this group and the effort they gave. And, and uh, it was a good day that way. OK. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Paul, you, you mentioned the defense. This was yet another game where they weren't responsible for giving up a touchdown. Right. Just what do you think has made the unit so special this year that they can work together as a unit like that? I think the, and not in this any particular order, but I think they're really good team defense. They care about each other. I think we got good football players. I think they're really well coached. I think they believe in each other. And, and, and because of that, I don't think they feel like they've got to do something else. They can do their job and they, they trust the other ones. And I think there's a competitiveness to them. And, uh, I think they've got great, you know, there's great leadership. So you got leadership, you got talented players. I think they care about each other, um, well coached. I think that gives us a chance every every time. And then they work at it. And then they're not, it's not a group who who they are. They're uh, they don't they don't read the clippings. They don't rest on their laurels. They they, they rise up to each challenge, and uh, they're fun to be around. Paul, you've been pretty matter of fact about all the questions about Corey coming back, just mm -hmm. saying, you know, he can only do so much. In addition to statistically, did, did his return give guys a boost around him to see him in the huddle and to see him maybe do some things that they're not accustomed to seeing? I think it was a bigger boost seeing him make some runs than just seeing him in the huddle. You, you know what I mean? It was the production, and, and absolutely it does. And, and you know what was neat today, I thought, was it Dario would have been the first one. You, you know, it, it's a... It's a group that's not selfish that way, I don't think. And, and so he had a pep in his step. And um, absolutely, he, 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 you know, we've had a, a number of guys that, all right, they're out. They're out. They're out. It's good to get one. He's in. Jason. Do you have a timetable on, on Chris Orr? And how long did, did Jack have to, to work on the inside this week? We uh we we'll, we'll see. I think Chris is one of those that uh, it'll probably be day to day, ish, and um, Jack had enough time to get ready, which was good. Tom. What does it mean to your offense to have a guy who can go, can get to the end zone, can can make that one move and 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 finish off a run celebrating? I thought it 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 changed that everything doesn't have to. I thought he had some great patience and and made someone miss and. Um, I think it just it, it changed it. You know, it, it was a big lift to our offense that way of having something. Um, maybe it's not 100% clean, but still get production. I thought that was huge. Sure felt good. Jim. Paul, you mentioned the competitiveness of your defense. Did that show after that second series of the game where Rutgers just really pounded it um, on the ground? They did. You know, we we were. Uh, we weren't keeping leverage on the ball, and you know they were, they were hitting us with the, the counter, and they were kind of knocking us back, and and yet I thought that they, you know, as it went down, we, the guys adjusted. 
I thought that was important. And and then they bowed up, and that was uh, a huge other. Darius on that drive, I think that was one of Darius. The second down, they went kind of the action pass. That was a nice play by Darius on that. And so it was uh, it was big. And I thought, you know, at the end of the game with the, the twos, uh, I don't know if it was TJ that came in on the the first down, you know, the run, and, and TJ and, and Ryan, he showed up in, in, at the end of the game, Connolly, and I thought that was big. And, and I know that means a lot. You know, the sidelines were, they were live on that, and that was, that was cool. Uh, Corey obviously showed some emotion after that touchdown, the first one. What did it mean for him to get back on the field and have that success? I'd like to, you know, it's a it's a long journey coming back, and uh, I'd like to think too that it was he, he's he was happy to be able to contribute to this team, you know, and, and certainly there's a personal part of it, and uh, and that's coming back, and and you know, I think any player comes into a season with expectations, kind of a vision of what they want the year to be, and and certainly wasn't that way for Corey. So I think it was, uh, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of waiting and, and just to be able to get out and play, you know, and, and certainly Corey will be able to speak for himself, but I'm sure there was a lot in that one. Steven? Kind of building off that question, I, there was a moment after he made that touchdown run, he came up to you, kind of pulled him aside, whispered something into his ear. What did you say to him? It's a nice run. And added a couple other things. <laughs> yeah, like I'd tell you guys. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Oh, in the back. John. What, what do you think a performance like this can do for your offense moving forward, knowing that you can have balance, you don't have to throw it 50 times a game, showing you can run the ball? Well, we've done that, you know, uh, different games. It, I think it it was it was needed and good for the day. And what we do going forward is what we earn. You know, I don't think it does it doesn't crown us anything, right? I mean, it's uh, we found a way to make plays offensively, defensively, special teams to win today. Uh, none of it carries over. I think there's things we can build on, and, and I think there's areas. You know what guys did, and we'll look at the film and say that that's that's positive, and we can keep moving forward on that. But it doesn't mean anything if you don't build on it and keep improving. Yeah, how do you think Joel played overall today? I think there's some good throws, but I'm sure that pick probably stands out for you—that one that was taken back. Yeah, I thought you know he uh, he he made some throws and and did some good things, right? And and that was. Uh, Thought he stood in there. I know first half. I know we missed Rob on one, and um, second half. You know, I think that uh, the 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 pick that's first down. You, you know, you're, you're playing with the lead, uh, and I think it's a, that's a it's a delicate balance that you've got to. You are playing with the lead, but you got to keep playing, and you got to keep it attacking, um, and. And then the third down. You know, they did a nice job. The bracketing. Alex on it, and he came off it and, and missed on location. But you don't want that. You can't when you got a lead. That's the one way they can get back in it. I thought. Um, thought he you know responded and and uh, thought he played well. And, and like any th game, there, there's some things you got to improve upon and, and, and get back. But I thought he did a lot of really good things too to give us a chance um, to win. And that was uh, that was big. So kind of like every game, some good stuff and some that you clearly got to learn from and. Uh, you know, we got to take better care of the ball, the quarterback spot. Uh, you touched on it a little bit, but what does it do for the morale of the team, getting Corey back, being on the other side of that injury coin that you guys have overcome so many? You finally got a guy back. You don't have as many injuries. What do you mean we don't have it? You're on the right side of it. You didn't lose anyone. You got someone back this time. What does that do for the morale of the team? I mean, you'd have to ask him. Uh, but I think it's big, right? I mean, anytime you get someone come back and, and contribute, that, that's a good thing. And and yet, I think no one anticipated 
Corey to come in and and do what he did necessarily, but it was uh, it was certainly good. But you know, it's it's one piece. It's an important piece, but uh, there's a lot of guys, and I, I don't know what. I don't think anyone was looking, waiting for Corey to. All right, now it's finally here. You know, I don't think it's that at all. Coach, any thoughts on Corey not being able to finish off the 58-yard run, getting caught from behind? I mean, he's got to get in shape. <laughs> I don't 